how do you feel about the aliens in Peru? I don't know about the motherfucking aliens. I ain't going to lie to you. Last night, I was driving home, and I saw this flash. Bro, stop. This is the middle of the summer. I know. I saw a flash. We all saw the flash. Did you see this flash? I saw multiple flashes. Actually. I saw a flash in the sky. I said, what the fuck? This is summer. There's no rainstorms ahead at all. Fuck are we doing? Right? So, there was a meteor shower. Okay. Okay. I heard about that, but I was just but like. I, don't, I ain't seen no big ass meteor like it, that. <laughs> it was a flash yeah, flash. Like, I said, oh, okay. Well, there goes the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That, bro, I saw an alien. I can tell you where I saw blood at. He was right above the motherfucking AM, PM right there <laughs> uh, on Auburn right. and uh, <laughs> hey, Auburn and Watt. So. Uh, two days ago, I was going to the bathroom, and Martin calls me out of nowhere, and he's like, yo, yesterday at night, I was walking to the store. I looked up, and I saw this light, like, hella bright, like, beam across uh, the sky. And I was like, oh, so you saw a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> you saw a helicopter? Dude. He was like, no, 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 it's aliens, it's aliens. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's like. Yeah, yeah, it's aliens. I swear it's aliens, bro. And he hangs up. And I'm like, what the? F- what is wrong with this kid? Don't tell me Martin got probed. Bro, and then he calls me again. And he tells me about the aliens in Peru. There's a story of aliens um, taking people and doing whatever with them. But then there's also a counter argument that they think it's like um, thieves that are doing the like, mines. They're trying to scare people off. And they're wearing jetpacks. Oh. And I'm like... Well, they're not people. Don't just be wearing jetpacks. But they said they're seven feet tall, and like maybe they're walking on stilts and shit with jetpacks. <laughs> <laughs> stilts and shit. And they're just taking people. You never see them again. Like and then, but Martin, that's what he told me. And then he goes, he tells me that, and he clicks, and then he calls me back, and he's like, "Bro, you gotta buy my gun because we have to, we have to uh, protect each other." And blah blah blah. I'm like, Martin, please stop talking about aliens. <laughs> <laughs> For the government come get yeah, us. Yeah, and then I find out there was a meteor shower the night before, too. So I call him. I'm like, bro, you know that was a whole meteor shower, right? He was like, no, 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 because meteor showers, like, it's not what I saw. It was a beam of light, and it flew. Like, I swear to you. I'm like, look, bro, you need to stop drinking, smoking, and don't go outside at night. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's yeah, just no, crazy. Not- People, like, I believe in aliens. I really do. I'm not going to lie to you. I believe that I do, are. too. I, think I just don't think they're here, right? I mean, I don't think they came yesterday, is what yeah. I'm saying. You're right, right, right. They've been here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, They're not just flying around. No, 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 no. Right, and he's like, oh, they're hiding in the clouds. I'm like, what is this, Chicken Little now? Is shit going to start falling from the sky? Like, or like the one movie, Key and Pill directed, I forget the name of that, but that was up, a good movie. Up? No, not Up. up. Uh, not no, up. up. Not Up. It's not, it's not Don't Look Up. Is it's it, Up. Is it Don't Look Up? No, no, no. Is it Don't Look Up? Or I just know he's looking up, right? That's not, but that's a... You know uh, the form it takes? That's the form of an angel. Really? Yeah. That final form it takes, that's an angel form. But that thing was no angel. <laughs> that thing was... That how'd was, you feel about that movie? Uh, it's called Nope. Oh, Nope. What yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know where we... Because there is a movie called Don't Look Up. I know. Uh, I don't... For some reason, when I said Up, I was thinking of uh, that old man. Yeah. With the kid. And, and the they balloons. got the house and stuff. Yeah. I don't know why you said he directed it. I was like, Up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you, we get it because yeah. the fucking thing was up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But um, I think I thought that movie was so the way his mind works. You know, you people, is it key? Mm-mm. Pill? No, it's key. I don't know which one. It's it is. not the bald one. I don't know. I don't know. Their it's names. not the bald one. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, with the glasses. Yeah. I just don't know his name. I'm yeah. gonna call, call him Key. Okay, you call him Key. I'm gonna call him Peel. Right, we'll bet. figure it out. But like, oh, it's Peel. His name is Jordan Peel. Okay, yeah, Jordan Peel. Okay, cool. Well, the way he. Thinks it is very interesting. I like the way he directs horror movies because to me it's not like jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. He tries to hit you psychologically first to get your mind thinking about something, and then that's where the real fear hits you. And I, you know what? I fuck with that that um, that that process, right? Yeah. Because um, I did a little digging on one of the the best horror movies that come out in my opinion in the last ten years, which would be it. The first one. Okay, I was about to say. Right? Hold I on. liked it because I dug into the ideology of Stephen King's theory about it. You know what I mean? It salts the meat before... Yeah, it has to... It has to... It, it acts like a uh, like a demon. Before it possesses you, it has to make you weak. It has to fear you. Exactly. And he, it also makes the food taste better. Exactly. And it's like, with how they were producing the content, right? Mm-hmm. They'd be like, oh, we're not trying to just jump scare you. We're trying to... 
lead you down this road, road, and then you feel me back door. You feel me set up all the, but all the it, shit. But then, it, but it makes the jump scares even more jumpier. You know what I mean? Correct. If you're building on something, like when that kid turned around, and he saw the, the the lady with the leukemia and stuff. That was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Or like just like with the balloons and it's popping and popping and popping and yeah. then he's right there. Like it, it makes you anticipate, anticipate something. So it's building, it's building, it's building, it's hitting you psychologically. You're seeing things transform in front of you and then bam, jump scare. You're just like, Holy shit, no. Shit's not at crazy. All. Or even even small it's not even a jump scare, like a subtle thing, like when the kid's walking down the pipe and he turns around and all you really do is you just see his eyes. You know that's it. We all know it's it. But it's just, I, I don't know, it adds more to me. And I think that's what um, movies in the beginning used to do. It made you build on that fear. Like when I first time watched The Ring, mm. that the, the original, that ring back in the day yeah, one, yeah, that yeah. shit was terrifying. There's supposed to be a new one coming out. Yeah, that they're all like garbage. Ass. They're all going to be bad. But, yeah, you're right. Build on that cycle. Psycho- yeah, bro. Like, yeah, I was like, this is kind of tight. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I think, I, I just think. Uh, as far as where were we going? We were going somewhere. Well, we were talking about aliens. Aliens. As far as aliens go, they've been here, right? I don't want to be sold. Like I think it's very naive of us to think, um, to think that aliens don't exist. Okay. You know what I mean? We have we can't even travel to the end of our galaxy yet. You know what I mean? It would take us fucking a couple hundred years. Anyway. Well, I think they make you think about a, another galaxy. Or to try to explore space, so don't so that we don't explore what we have here. Like we can't go. Like it's crazy that we can go to the moon. We can go. To, we can send things to other planets, but we cannot go down into our own ocean. Mm-hmm. Which is cap. Well, we I don't. We can't. Oh, yes, we can. We cannot send anything to. We can send things down there, uh-huh. but this there's no signal strong enough to hit it back up. So, and, but there's I, a signal strong enough. For us to go fucking 30 days away. Because it takes like 30 days or some shit to get to another planet. That's what No, that is what I'm trying to tell you. I I feel like what we're being taught and led to believe is that we can go into space. Uh And we're so focused on space because whatever really is. This is what I think. Let me just stop. I feel like we found something very terrifying down there. In the ocean? Very terrifying. Yes. And I think that they we just keep telling people, hey, we can't. We don't know. We try. We try. But what we're going to do is when you when it's nighttime and you see that space, that's what we're going to explore. Because whatever's down there is terrifying. Right. And it's something that we don't want anyone to know about. That's why they make us focus on space and aliens and all that stuff. Because I do believe aliens are here. But I think aliens were smart enough to integrate themselves into our society and make themselves very high in our society. And they're the ones who make us distracted with certain things as other things go on in this world. You're not wrong. I don't yeah. think we control our own world. Not Military people, the, the 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 senators and shit like that. Those are lizard people. Those are aliens. If you didn't know, no, I, I, yeah. the highest tip top, bro, because it's always crazy. The highest tip top of people are the ones that are always so like mysterious, corrupt, and just not normal people. You hang out with them, and you're just like, there's something off about this guy. Sniffing babies and shit. Like, That's some shit lizards I'm, would do, I'm, bro. That's some shit I'm some trying lizards to would tell do, you, gang. bro. No, 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 no. Yeah, and and back, and you know, back to the you feel me. Like I said, we but we we can we can take a, a rocket and send it through a course to another planet and put fucking shit on Mars and you know what I mean. Have connection and drive a little remote control car around and shit like that with connection. No issue. Mars is has to, Mars has to be like thirty days away. The fuck the bottom of the ocean isn't thirty days away. That shit's like five hours away. Like, come I on, gang! Like, right now, like, like yeah. come on, gang! That's hey, a, right there, dog. Like, you feel me? Like, what the fuck? It takes like like. There's just no way. There's just no way. It's hard to believe. See, to me, it's it's hard to believe in space. And I know a lot of people will be like, "Oh, well, you're, you're crazy and all that." You can, I I just don't. Like really sit there and think about it. Like you, we well, have. Tell us where if we're if we're, wrong, if we're wrong right now. Tell us. Yeah, but like think about it too. Like when you're shooting something off into space, right? They have to calculate that you're going. You're 
your direction, your path mm-hmm. is going to hit that planet because the planet's not staying still. No. To every what we've been learned, it's it's moving, it's spinning, and it's moving. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the location you pick <laughs> yeah, get, uh, on the planet, uh, you gotta hit that precisely, like, perfectly, bro. If you miss that and just go off, we don't know where you hit going. We don't even know where you are. Like you're dead, you're dead. Extra dead. Yeah, that's why they they keep they keep a, a pistol in there, not, <laughs> not to shoot aliens or nothing. No, it's to shoot that's, yourself. Yeah, yourself, because you made a dumbass decision. Being taking your. But that's what, that's what I learned. Like, and you don't exit the atmosphere just going straight up. You you gotta exit with the rotation. You feel me? So not only are we exiting, like we see it go up, but then it goes up like this, and it like ricochets out, and it goes out right. Then we have to. We have to be like, okay, in three days, the, the world, the, Mars is going to be here. And I don't think it spins like this. I think it spins like that. And Mars is going to be here, and it's going to be just perfect to land right where the base is. Are we are we, are we conspiracy theories? That's not a conspiracy theorist. I'm just telling people to think. Think. Just think about it. That just, just think about it. And that's what other... They can't even solve the homeless on our planet, but yeah. we have people in space Right now, we are just floating. Yep, we are conspiracy theorists. Obviously, that's some shit. Bro, yeah, he'll be like, just think about it. I'm just asking you to think. We can't even that's do free health care, right? But we just got shit in Mars that we could just but c- control on a Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Game Boy. Like, hey, bro, that's too early. Bro, you shouldn't have said no, that. I'm like, trying we, to tell you, bro. niggas died down there on that PS2 mm, controller. It's just crazy to me. Like, we can't, as Democrats and Republicans, can't even unite as a country. But we got shit blasting off into the, into the moon so we can see what elements are on the moon. Like, stop. I think we should worry about our planet before we start worrying about another moon. Well, I heard that Mars has like 8,000 people on it, too. They've been lying to us. <laughs> They've been lying to I've us. I've heard that Mars has 8 thousand people on it and they've been lying to us they probably got free health care on mars they, they hold eight thousand people they got free everything on mars they, they don't got gotta pay cable, for nothing. free health care the hoe they got hoes on that motherfucker like popping yeah but what's crazy though is they they gotta wait every like 45 days they get a new shipment of stuff so like it's like the purge like sometimes they're great and then when it gets bad they all killing each other so they so and then the shipment comes <laughs> I'm the good. shipment, yeah, the shipment, like from literally. us, yes, <laughs> bro. Like I don't know, I would never live on Mars. It, it sounds like, it's but you hot. know what's crazy is they teach us that we would never live on Mars. But the eight thousand people that are living on Mars are trying. They're they're the ones pushing that. Don't have these other niggas come over here. Tell them it's hot. It's hot and it's red. And it's red. It's just sand everywhere. They got, be- they got beautiful lakes, bro. And shit. Lakes. They got beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful women. everything. They're in a utopia, you man. Know what I'm talking about free healthcare. You yeah. know what I'm talking about. They're like, what are we going to put in the science books? Uh, suck, <laughs> death. No atmosphere. You cannot <laughs> breathe on this planet. Don't ever come here. Hey, they could be doing that to us. They tell you, hey, bro. Hey, I'm just gonna let y'all know, bro. We can't. Travel that far in our galaxy, just let y'all know. We yeah. can't go that deep in our ocean, bro. Mm-hmm. Just we'll let y'all yep. know. Uh, we don't know how to how to uh, solve for homelessness or health care, but you feel me? We'll figure it out one day. But vote Democrat. I'm fucking weak. As vote for that. the Democrats. Oh my God. I so think, I think you can we can be broke forever. I think we figured it out, bro. What if you swam so? We far? are conspiracy theorists. But what if you swam so far down to the ocean and then an eye just opened? you doing out here, little nigga? Yeah. <laughs> when I just opens, like, wait a minute. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, 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 I would love to know what the fuck's down there. Would you really though? Yeah, because it would give up. Because there's talking about there's like, you got motherfuckers who play in the ocean. Yeah. But think about this though. There's so many things that have been destroyed on its on way the down ocean, to the ocean. Yeah, and then it just <laughs> floats down. And where does it go? Well, the Titanic's still down there. Because they said, that, well, that that's not the lowest part of the ocean. Exactly. There's a valley that is just mad low that we can't get down. Yeah, there. there's, a, there's, there's the ocean, and it goes down, and then all of a sudden, there's just this big drop. Yeah. But this drop, we've never found the bottom, but supposedly there's squids down there that are like fucking 20,000 feet, and they bring their tentacles up all the way up. <laughs> And if you touch it, they suck your ass down. It's like a SpongeBob. Some SpongeBob. No, shit. I swear to God, they said there's there's like the squid down there that it it lets one of his tentacles go up, and then when it, it 
catches something and brings it all the way down. That's I've, some scary ass I've shit. I've never heard of that. Well, look into it. Okay. And do not swim in the ocean. I, yeah, don't swim in the ocean. Especially if you're black. Don't do that shit. Bro, just think a cavern. Like you can see, see, and then boom, just a, a fucking that's hole. What, and that's what I'm saying. I, I want to know why the fuck we can travel. I, you know what? We're not even going to go through this again because we know why. They don't want us to go down there. They don't want us to go down there. There's probably gold and fucking no. permanent life just problem there. Just like shit. just whole bunch of this booty. Booty, <laughs> whole bunch of booty down. A whole here. bunch of booty, just unlimited booty. Unlimited booty. You can't go to Mars because this is utopia. You can't go all deep underwater. Cause you're just gonna see a whole bunch of just mermaid booty. Hey, that's kind of tight. Hey, all in the booty. water, all pruned up. Mermaid booty, raisin Mer- mermaid booty. Mermaid <laughs> raisin. <laughs> no, they, they no, because they got gills, bro. So it'll be good. No, they not booty? those kind of mermaids. They make those kind of mermaids. Yeah, yeah, because real mermaids are actually horrifying. No, no, no. Yes, real yes. mermaids are like a ten out of ten, bro. They just, they just don't miss. They just don't miss. And then they're not fake, bro. I've seen one. They sung to me. I walked into the ocean and I lived for about two years. But I just I had to bring out with her because it was just too good. Just too good. I yeah. needed a little bit of toxic in there. That mermaid Badusi. Yeah. Because well, I mean, no, no, they don't have like those that's what I'm parts. Badusi, but like they do no, have butt though. No, no, they have butt, but like they don't have nothing else. They don't yeah. go to the bathroom. Badusi. No, they like telepathically like like make you come. <laughs> He just oh, <laughs> <laughs> mermaid got that yeah, shit, bro. They just like they're just like mm-hmm. mermaids got that shit on them gang. I'm trying You're to tell you, an idiot. Would you uh, if they were like, hey, bro, you trying to go down this submarine, bro? Hell no, nah. <laughs> hell no, bro, no. And then he was like, he whipped out the PS2 controller, but just hey, bro, this how we going? He was, and then like before you leave, the mechanics like, yeah, uh, we should like switch. Just shut up. I'm a billionaire. <laughs> 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 I'm like, nigga, get uh, me off this motherfucker yesterday. Yeah, bro. You guys want to go down in a submarine of five people, no professionals, and just go, you know, look for the Titanic? No, I don't. And I think that since you suggested that, you might have a little too much money, and you need to shut up. Thank God he wasn't American. America. Because it's... Nigga, we'd be climbing that That's why they're like, yo, do you want to, like, build a machine and, like, jump into a volcano to see how hot it really is? No, I don't. No, why? <laughs> why? We can't just go to Denny's and get one of everything. Like, that come like on, a better idea. Like, what are we? What are we? What are we really doing here, bro? Yes. I don't know. People think people, bro. If I had too much money, I'll tell you this right now. If I had too much money, I really would just walk outside and bless people every day. Bro, that you get so you get a smile, you get something to do, and people are always outside. Bro, if you're a billionaire, what is that a day? I don't even know that is a day because I, I I never made it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever. But if you're a billionaire, you can just walk outside, go up to a person, make it funny. Hey, what's up? What's up? You're ugly. Okay, fix that. Here's twenty grand. Fix that. If you want to do it rude, you want to be do it interesting, whatever, or go go to a gas, bro. Go to it if you have a lot of money. If you're a millionaire, or a billionaire, go to a gas station and just stand outside that gas that gas station with a sign that says uh, that says park here and get free gas and just give free gas out all day, all day long. Just give people free gas instead of getting into a submarine and dying immediately and not making none of your motherfucking money back. And none of your money Brad back. Said he, he, Brad said he was never they like. That company never made no money. Like they kept. Yeah, because he's they were, dead. They kept. They were in the red the entire time. Because people kept dying, and well, he finally was like, "You know what? I'm just gonna do it." People kept dying. <laughs> bro, I swear to God, he was, bro was strictly a, just a psychopath. Like that's strictly what bro was. That's too much money. He's just throwing it into our project and they, he throwing. That was, he was never gonna make no money back because it was like, nigga, ain't nobody gonna get in that low ass bubble with you with that PS2 controller. Yeah, so stupid ass. <laughs> like, bro, we're sinking. I'm pushing R2. I don't know what's going on. He had a better chance of being right. a sugar daddy. Somewhere. Put the cheek. Going in up, down, left, right, X triangle. Come on, I've done it four times. That's sad. <laughs> We're going down. We're going poof because it implodes. Yeah, poof. but you know what's crazy? Before it implodes, I think the people inside implode first and then it implodes. Well, yeah, because pressure. Well, yeah, because yeah. our heads are not as strong as the, I guess the vessel. So if you're inside of something imploding, you implode first. Yeah. So, but you know what's crazy? That's one painful death. I f- I heard like you'll hear bliss. And it's like just pressure building constantly. Eyes, ears bleeding, 
and then boom. Yep. Goodbye. And people don't know what an implode is. It's not. It's. Yeah. So your skull. It's crushing. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially. Imploding. Crazy. Explode, exploding. Yeah. Imploding. But that's crazy, dude. Just to hear a bliss and then you just. It's like you feel all this pressure and then. And yeah, it's it's sad, where that's unfortunately that's just the world we live in. Motherfuckers are is too much money. Is that sad, or did did the the planet do natural selection? Natural selection, still sad though that we had to because like imagine if that shit would just went under the radar. Imagine Nobody if that worked. Imagine if this one worked, so he did it on a bigger scale that didn't work, and instead of five people, there was thirty five people. Yeah, but this isn't the first time something like this has happened though. Of course not. This yeah. is just the first time we've heard about it. Yeah. You know. That's why he was in the red. Much, like you said, he just had too much motherfucking money. And too much money is could be a problem. You know what yeah. I mean? He had a better chance of being a sugar daddy. If you have too much money, give money away. Be a Love sugar you. daddy. Yeah. Be do Just do something for someone. Don't make a damn submarine with a PS... Fuck, I know, a Nintendo PS. 64 controller. You know, the, the joystick, yeah, just the joystick, bro. That nigga had you got four the, yellows. That nigga had four yellows on that bitch. He had four no, yellow toggles bro. on that bitch. And yeah. as as you're going underwater, you're watching this tutorial on how to drive this motherfucker. Don't do that, man. Looks like I had a center co- center button. Bro, he he had a Wii. He was in there with a Wii like this. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was stuck. Nigga. Uh, uh, yeah, we gotta go. Uh, uh, it's not connected. <laughs> That nigga had an oh. Xbox 360 Connect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gang. Oh, my We're God. We're going straight to hell. 